everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree Valentine's DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how to turn this adorable little photo frame into a Valentine's decor. Let me show you how to make it. Over in the crafter square section, I picked up this really cute little photo frame. Now they had several different shapes to choose from, but because I wanted to make something for Valentine's, I Pick the heart. You want to go ahead and bend the little prongs in the back and remove the center. We're going to paint this. You're going to need some red paint. Today I'm going to use the Folk Art Lipstick Red. And then you're also going to need some brown paint. And for that I'm going to be using Apple Barrels Nutmeg Brown. I'm going to be painting the heart red and the base here brown. I really do like this Crafter Square Tear Off Palette. It works great when you're painting. Nothing to clean up. The paper is nice and thick so it doesn't uh, seep through to the next one. So it makes clean work of painting. Depending on what paint you use, you'll need to put one to two coats. You want to make sure to get your edges so you have a nice clean piece. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to get the base painted brown. Now while our base dries, you're also going to need a package of these new uh, DIY stickers. They're the wood stickers you do it yourself. And this has Kiss Me and then it has a heart with a little cupid. You will need one of each of those for this project. The Kiss Me, you want to paint the red, the lipstick red, or whatever red you're using. And then the heart with the Cupid, you want to paint the Cupid white and the heart around the same red. And for the white, I'm just using my favorite Apple Barrel white paint. Now I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and we'll move forward. My pieces are dry, so we're going to move forward. You'll need a piece of uh, brown paper. You can use construction paper or cardstock, whatever you have. You're going to use the little uh, insert that came in the photo frame. Just trace that out and cut a piece out. We're still going to use this to help support the paper. Go ahead and place that back in. So it should look like that. Next, we're going to take the Kiss Me and we're going to place that right in the center. And I'm just going to add a few dots of hot glue and place that. Doesn't that look cute? And then with this ribbon that I picked up from Dollar Tree, this is nine feet by five eighths of an inch. It has a burlap background and it's really cute. It says, I picked you. I made a very simple bow. I'm going to place this right here on the bottom. Now 
Doesn't that look cute? I absolutely love it. Now, if you don't get the word straight, remember it's on paper. You can just loosen and adjust until you get them so that they look straight. And on this piece, it's really nice because the bottom right here is flat. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to glue him right in the front here. I think that looks really cute, but I'm not quite done yet. I have one of these Crafter Square metallic markers in white. And I'm going to go in and put a little bit of stitching, at least make it look like stitching, all the way around the heart. And then here on the Kiss Me, I think I'm going to go in and add some polka dots in white. I'm just going to freehand and do whatever looks right to me. This is a handmade craft, so it does not have to be perfect. Now Dollar Tree has several different types of markers. The only one that has a fine tip is this one and it's the metallic markers. They have a white one that is a chalk marker that has a very wide tip so it's difficult to do any kind of detailed work with it. They have another one that is a paint marker but it as well has a very large tip. So you want to keep your eyes open for a white crafter square metallic marker. These things are great. But see how cute that is just by doing that. It needs it needed some white. So now I'm just going to go in and add some white polka dots on my Kiss Me. Wherever I feel that they need it. Because again, I feel like it needs a little bit more white up here at the top to tie in with the cherub. Or Cupid, I should say. I think that looks really cute. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to go over those polka dots again to make sure that they're nice and white. And there you go. We're all done. I think it came out absolutely adorable. And for about $3, you got a really fun and easy craft. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's Valentine's DIY. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. You have a great day and I'll see you next time.